Thank you all uh, for coming. I, uh, I guess there's not a lot to say uh, other than we'll let a few people say some things and then we'll answer some questions if you've got any. But it's my pleasure to confirm Tom Kimbrell, uh, I guess officially right now. That's uh, Y'all can clap if you want to. <laughs> I want to uh, I want to thank the board, uh, the board of education, uh, for their hard work and diligent work. I want to thank all the constituencies that had input, uh, because there were a lot of them. Uh, Tom obviously uh, brings a lot of experience with a lot of those constituencies. A teacher, a longtime teacher, so he understands what our classroom teachers uh, go through, having been there. An administrator. Uh, so he understands what our administrators go through, having been there. A, uh, the director of the Administrators Association, so he understands the legislative process and the political process because he's interacted with that. And probably most important, even though you don't always see this on a resume, a parent. <laughs> so he understands uh, from the standpoint of the parents uh, uh, some of the issues. He also, uh, obviously, with his background, it's pretty easy uh, that he shares my vision that the number one priority of state government is education. Uh, he's not afraid to try new things. Uh, he's not afraid uh, to ask for input and guidance. He's not afraid to uh, speak his mind. He's not afraid to uh, get down in the trenches and relate uh, to the people who are on the front line that actually have to deliver education services. And in the final analysis, that is so important. Uh, it's been my experience that uh, if you just try to make policy without involving the actual people who have to implement that policy, without actually talking to the people on the front line, whether they're teachers or administrators or parents or whatever they may be, you make a huge mistake. Now, that doesn't mean that you always do everything that they want done, because that's impossible. What it does mean is you take that into consideration uh, as a significant and important factor. <coughs> Excuse me. I, uh, I just want uh, everyone to know that uh, I have a lot of confidence uh, in Tom. The agency is not only charged with the responsibility of implementing our state policy, and, and uh, our state policy is formulated in a number of arenas, not the least of which is the legislature, not the least of which is the board, and frankly, not the least of which is the governor's office, as it should be, but also being the type of agency that tries to help aid and assist our school systems to implement and complete their duties. Uh, it is a, an organization that not only delivers and directs policy, but one that helps aids and assists uh, the individual school districts and the individual schools and the teachers across the state of Arkansas to enable them to do their jobs. Having said that, let me present to you uh, who wants to go first? Uh, Tom, why don't you go first? Uh, Tom Kimbrell. Thank you, Governor. It's indeed a pleasure to look around and see so many friends, uh, so many people that uh, have helped me throughout my career, throughout um, my years. I see school people, legislators, Senator Bisbee, and our math that we work on, on school math as we call it. It's, all, it's just wonderful to look around this room and, and see people that, uh, that support education, that know how important it is. I can tell you that this has been my goal, both professionally and personally, to someday have the greatest impact on students that I possibly could have. And in my opinion, this is the job to do that. The timing may have been a little bit earlier then I had career planned for that to happen. I look out there and see Robert Thompson, one of my former students. <laughs> so it's wonderful. But I'll tell you why the timing's good. It's because we've got a governor that truly believes what he says about education being the most important <laughs> part of state government. When I came in to talk to the governor about this position, I'll just be honest with you. At one point I had said, I'm not ready to take this step, governor. 
But when I came back in, his first question is, what changed your mind? And I told him it was that national poll thing I read about him being the most popular <laughs> governor in the nation. <laughs> so I look forward to several more years, Governor, working with you and the state board to move education forward, to do exactly what you talked about, ensure that our schools are meeting the needs of kids, and to ensure that the Department of Education is there as an arm to help a resource for helping schools get better at what they do. So I think it's important that we all understand that, that the department has two roles to play. And my goal will be to ensure that there's a balance between those, a balance of help and a balance of regulatory requirement. I think it's important that people know that, yes, as I've read in the blogs and seen on some of the papers, I was friends with a lot of superintendents and they're still my friends and they'll be my friends today and they'll be my friends tomorrow. But I can tell you, I'll hold them as accountable for what they do for kids as I hold Tony Thurman for what happens for my kids in Cabot School District. I'd like to tell the State Board I appreciate their confidence and their vote today. I think we have a lot of work to do. I want to thank the governor and his staff for having the confidence in me to say, we're going to promote you, Tom. We're going to recommend you, and you go out and do good work. But most of all, I want to say thank you to the most important person in my life, my wife. <laughs> Not, my wife's an educator. She's a dedicated educator. She's been a part of my life for 20 years since we've been married. She's done nothing but follow me around and support my professional and personal goals. And she's done whatever it's taken to make that happen. Now she's in a position to make great strides for what she does for kids in Cabot. And I support her, but I told her right off the bat, I'll hold you as accountable as anybody else out there. <laughs> Governor, thank you for this opportunity. Dr. Williams, the State Board, thank you for this opportunity, and I promise you won't regret it.